If you're a video shooter and you shoot on the new Sony a7 IV, on today's video I'm going to show you how to turn your camera from this to this in hopes of removing any risk to breaking off that HDMI port. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you like anything in regards of cars and cameras, please be sure to hit the subscribe button for future videos. On today's video, I wanted to discuss a Sony a7 IV hack, really that nobody's talking about, none of these big creators are talking about. If you're a video shooter or if you use the HDMI port on the a7 IV, this video will be extremely helpful for you. It's great that we get a full HDMI port now on the a7 IV, however, there still remains a big problem, and that's this flap right here. You use this in order to open up the HDMI port to plug in the HDMI cable. Problem I'm having, and I came very, very close to completely breaking it off. I'm always just used to cables being on that side, so that flap that literally flaps around uh, and is extremely pertinent to risk of breaking it off and overall killing the resale value of your camera when you eventually come and sell it. So how do we solve this? So what I've done and what I'll show later on in this video is a complete breakdown how to remove the HDMI door from the body itself and retain it um, so that when you do go and sell your camera or you do need it for whatever reason, you're still able to. Furthermore, you still can attach your, your HDMI door to it if you want. That's a great option if you still want it to be weather resistant. However, me personally, I find it much harder to just take this off and keep it in my pocket. I'd rather just stow it away permanently and then when I actually do need it to resell the camera or anything like that, then I can put it back on. So you'll see here, I have the tilted cage uh, for the Sony a7 IV. Let's go ahead and head on the bench, break this down so that I can really show you guys kind of what's going on. All right, first things first, these are all the tools that you're gonna need. Um, you have a punch, um, you have uh, an electronic screwdriver, um, you'll need a needle nose pliers, you'll need um, a plug for your HDMI port, um, these are the best ones that I found. Um, these ones, if we'll focus on it, have a raised kind of bump, as you can see. Um, so it's easier to, to pull it out whenever you need the, uh, the HDMI port. And a baggie with a label on it so you don't lose it. Um, you're gonna put your HDMI door here um, along with the uh, pin that, uh, that comes with it. Now that we have the a7 IV in a bare fashion in a sense, um, the cage that I'm running on it is the Tilta cage. And I like this cage um, mainly because of all the attachments that I can put onto this. Um, and I'm still able to access this with a cage on it. So just so you're aware. So there is going to be, let me open the flap first. There's gonna be two screws in the HDMI port. You're gonna to wanna to open up all these ports. There's one long screw by your record cable, right there. There's this one that we're gonna get, and then there's another one on the inside here right by your charging cable. Right there, right by the USB-C port. All right, so just to recap again, there's two HDMI screws in here. There's one right here. There's this one, and the only one that is a, that is a different size is gonna be the one right by your headphone cable between your record, your record port and your head, headphone port. This one right here is the long one. And now all you're gonna do is simply remove the door. It should come right off. You can put the camera to the side right now that right there and now you can put this down and you're gonna take your your punch so what you're gonna want to do once you have the door out there's a little opening here that you want to press and get that pin out see the pin right there that's your pin 
either use your fingers or a needle nose plier. Pop that out, door comes right off. So now, you, this we're gonna attach right back to the camera, so don't put this anywhere. But what you're gonna do is, you have your pin in your door, put in your baggie, and store this in a knife safe spot. All right, and now all you're gonna do is the reverse. And now all you're gonna do is plug your, this USB rubber uh, plug. Let's plug that in and close these down. And that's it. I mean, that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, let me know in the comments down below. And we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.